Hello everyone, Vince here today in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you how distal fragmentation works in simplified terms. Many people don't know what distal fragmentation is for and what the purpose of it is for, and I'm going to be clearing up any misconceptions of distal fragmentation by showing you a simple demonstration. Now before I start, I want to give you some backup information on what hard drives are. Okay, the actual hard disk is the circular silver thing and eerily it looks like a CD and CD store data and the hard disk stores data too. So the circular thing is the hard disk. The head is this pointy thing. The head reads the information off the hard disk so when you decide to open up your picture the head moves all around searching for the picture and when it finally finds it it opens up. But you might be saying where does distal fragmentation come into play? Well I'm going to be starting this demonstration right now. The hard disk on this hard drive will be represented by this blue box and it's labeled hard disk so you won't get confused. And the head will be represented by the mouse cursor, the thing you see here, the little pointy thing. Okay, so let's start off this demonstration by imagining ourselves writing an essay. Okay, the essay will be represented by these five Microsoft Word icons. These five Microsoft Word icons are data. Let's imagine that it's data. So the data will be now stored on the hard disk. This is data associated to one document. We, like what we all do, we do not keep our first draft of our essays. We revise it, we move stuff around, we add stuff, we delete stuff. So let's delete this portion of the essay. And we move stuff around, we move stuff, we move, wee, wee. And then when you're finally done, the pieces of data are now spread around because you edited stuff, you moved stuff, etc, etc. So now the head reads your document on the hard disk like this. So follow my cursor. Zip, 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 and zip. So that's our essay. So now let's say we want to edit a picture. Let's bring some icons in that represents the data of a picture. And we're going to edit it with Photoshop. So we're going to put it on the hard disk and we start editing. Mm -hmm. So we move stuff around and then we delete stuff and we just keep moving stuff around and the head reads the data on the hard disk like this. So follow my cursor. Zip, 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 zip. Okay. Now let's say we want to edit a movie. So the movie data will be represented by these five icons. And when we start editing, we put them into the hard disk. And then we move stuff around, we add captions, we add effects, we add stuff, we edit more, we cut it down, we add the intro, etc, etc. And so, your head reads the data on the hard disk for the movie like this. Zip, 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 zip. Okay, and let's try it on one last thing. Let's say we want to install an application. So the data on the application will be represented by these five briefcase icons. And like we always do, let's put it in the hard disk. And then the info and system settings within the application might change. So the stuff moves around the hard disk and we go zip, zip, zip. We edit stuff, we add stuff, we delete stuff. So let's delete. And then the head reads the data on the hard disk for the application like this. Zip, 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 zip. Now, can anyone see the problem with a hard disk? So let's say you want to open up the movie file. Parts of the movie file are over here. 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 And parts of the movie file are over here. Now the head, when it searches for the information, goes crazy. It goes zip. And then it finds zip. And it goes zip, zip, zip. So the head goes all around your hard disk. Thus causing producing or editing your movie even slower because the data are all over the hard drive instead of being organized in one simple place. So zzz 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 zzz. And then when you open, you want to open up your essay, it, parts of the information here, 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 here. Thus causing the document to open even slower because it has to search for the data to open up the actual essay that you wrote. Okay, so you might be saying, how does distal fragmentation help, Vince? Well, when you open up the distal fragmenter program and you click on defragment disk your head will go to work organizing the data on the hard disk so let's start organizing the disk defragmenter program will do this for all data for all files i will take at least two hours but the good thing is 
it does it all automatically. So all I have to do is click on defragment disk or start defragmentation, and you can walk out of the room. You can get a cup of coffee. You can fix yourself some breakfast, dinner, lunch, or you can go to sleep. I recommend you just do this defragmentation when you sleep so you won't get bothered when it does all the work. Do you see the difference? Our hard disk is now organized. Yes, it's organized. And so when we want to open up our essay, our head will just go like this, zoom, when we open up the document. If you want to open up the application, we'll just go like this, zoom, when we want to open up the movie file, zoom, and we want to open up the picture, zoom. It doesn't go all around the place anymore. The head doesn't go all around the hard disk, thus causing your documents, pictures, music to open up faster and just improving the overall performance of your computer because all the data is now organized for all the files. And whenever your operating system wants to open something, your hard disk can just go zoop and it'll open up very quickly because all the data is now organized for that file. So it's just like a filing cabinet. You can't find your stuff in a disorganized filing cabinet fast, but in an organized filing cabinet, you can. You can find your stuff fast because it's all organized, just like this defragmentation and your hard drive. And that's basically how this defragmenter works. Simple as that. Thank you very much for watching this video. You can email me at vincevinsbogna.com. You can send me tweets to Twitter at twitter.com slash vincebogna. You can save 25% off the next hover domain by using coupon code Vince by going to hover.com slash Vince or typing in V-A-N-C-E at checkout.